Hey YouTube, I am Prakar and this is the first video in a series in which I will be covering AXM and CORM. I will start with a simple standard API with just one endpoint and will be building a complex API with uh, multiple database calls and uh, covering almost all of the CORM functionalities. So let uh, the first video, this video, we will just build a simple uh, basic API with just one endpoint which you can see on your screens and uh, I'll also cover some basic topics of Rust but uh, I expect that most people watching this video already have at least basic knowledge of Rust. Creating Rust project is easy, cargo new and then project of your uh, sorry name of your project. So our project is ready. As we can see, we have cargo.toml first thing and then we have src. We have main.rs in src and here is our cargo.toml. So cargo.toml is quite similar to package.json. It contains all the dependencies, name, version and addition etc. So we are building a Rust axum project which means we are using uh, axum uh, for our uh, web request. So let's just add axum. We'll also need to add Tokyo bus, but first we'll add. So it's easy. Cargo add exam. Uh, first we need to uh, change to our uh, current directory, and now we'll do cargo add exam. Now we'll need a few features as well, headers and multi-part. Uh, but I'll add headers for now. Uh, multi-part when we'll need it, we'll add that but we only need headers right now so i'll just add headers to add any feature all we need to do is add a nav tag and then the name of the feature uh, now i also need to add tokyo so cargo add tokyo now i also want to add all the features of tokyo so i can add them uh, from terminal or what i can do is I'll just copy paste this uh, above uh, JSON and change the version uh, to the one that was uh, provided by the cargo and now uh, for features I'll just write full so all the features will be added whenever I, whenever I build this okay so let's go to our main uh, so this target is uh, target folder is where all are uh, like similar to our uh, node modules this is the target one. so you can run uh, directly from this button in VS code or you can run cargo run command to run the project so let's build this project uh, as you can see hello world is being printed main function is being called at the beginning so let's add Tokyo and now I'll create a new function server so with this uh, I'll make this async this server method is first of all I'll show you how uh, the async thing works in uh, Rust if you are familiar with the JavaScript then you probably already know it's quite similar uh, but uh, here what I'll do is I'll call server method I cannot call it in this method because it's not async so I'll need to add async before uh, fn Let's add async. Okay, so now if I execute this program, I'll get hello world. Uh, now let's add print line to server method also and again run this project. So as you can see I am still getting hello world this is because I haven't awaited for the server method so to await it I all I need to do is add dot await at the end of the server let's run it again and now we get server as well okay so this was basics of uh, uh, asynchronous programming and we'll be using it a lot next let's start with our API uh, in the server method, let's create a router and define an endpoint which will then be used in a server. 
okay so let's remove first uh, print lines and now create a router uh, of router type uh, first we create a variable uh, i'll call it uh, let's say app of type router and i'll create a new router let's add a route uh, slash api slash test okay so import the router uh, i'm using the rust analyzer uh, which allows me to import this uh, using control dot okay so now we need to define what should happen when this endpoint is called so i'll create get test so get is our request the type of request and test is our method i haven't created a test method first let's import get method uh, from axum and then we'll create a test method we need the axum routing get okay so now let's create an another async method for uh, called test where we'll carry out our functionality so let's just uh, create an async method okay so any method whether it is uh, using a wait or not if we need to use a method inside a router then we need to make it async okay now return time should be into response we'll later use uh, result as a return type but now let's just use into response i'll print a line so status code i have written accepted which is 200 i can return any but uh, this is just for uh, show so i'll just uh, make it accepted now let's make the server uh, we bind it to our uh, IP. Uh, I am using 0.0.0, .0 but you can also use localhost that is 1.0.1. We'll parse it and unwrap it and then make it into a service. Finally, await and unwrap and our server is ready. All we need to do is now run this and our API should work. Okay, so let's test it in Postman. So I'll just make a new request, uh, localhost colon 3000, which is the port number slash api slash test as you can see i'm getting here there which was uh, what i was returning in the method so that's it for this video uh, this was an basic api in future we'll be covering uh, a lot more topics so please like this video if you have gained any knowledge and do subscribe